Life is a winding road No telling where it goes Driving through days and nights Won't stop for traffic lights Even if I'm falling down I will keep on searching for my highs Even if the sky is falling down to my channel. I'm Noah and I specialize in visiting China's hidden treasures and today I've got a very special treat for you. I'm here at Zhaoxingdong village in the outskirts of Guizhou province. From here I'm taking a hike to two other villages in the area. The hike is supposed to be spectacular with beautiful landscapes. So without further ado, let's get to it. Immediately what captured my eye on the hike was the sprawling rice paddy fields. And I'll tell you, it's a wonderland of giant steps. Everywhere you look, you see different shades of green steps. And it's absolutely heavenly. Even if I'm falling down, I will keep on searching for my highs. The hike took me about two hours in total, but I finally made it to my first stop. Feast your eyes on Tang'an Village, home of China's first ecological museum. It was really interesting to learn more about these people and their culture from the museum. For instance, I learned that a huge part of the culture used to be men singing and playing instruments to serenade women. Just as in Zhaoxing Village, the drum tower in Tang'an is the heart of the community here and serves as the symbol of the village. The drum tower may be the heart of Tang'an, but the birthplace of the village lies just behind the tower. Because Tang'an is almost a kilometer above sea level, it could only exist and thrive because of this spring water right here. It's so pure that some of the locals from Zhaoxing even make the 7 kilometer hike all the way up here just for the water. After checking out the well, I was just strolling the streets of Tang'an when I came across the biggest hidden treasure I found in China to date. I totally just walked through this open door to find this beautiful rice paddy fields and the stone steps that lead along them with creeks underneath. It's gorgeous. Legend has it that 61-year-old Pan Chuan Da gave up his career as a wizard to develop this field for future generations. This is real history here, I'm not kidding. All of the stones here on this hill he picked up and placed himself. I don't quite understand why he didn't use his magical powers to levitate the rocks, but I guess that's an argument for a different day. On my way back to Zhaoxing, I made the stop at Xiaga village. This place is so off the map that all I could find about it on the internet was this short little paragraph on Baidu by Ke. So there are actually two villages here in Xiaga. There's the upper village and then just the regular village. I spent most of my time in the upper village. And wow, what an interesting place it was. As I was entering the village from afar, I could clearly hear the screams of playing children. I guess all the adults were busy at work, because everywhere I looked, kids were running the town. Everything in Xiaga is just so real. I mean, take a look at this stage here. How many performances has this baby witnessed? What an amazing day it's been visiting these two villages that seem completely untouched by modern society. Please like, share, and comment, and subscribe and turn on that bell because I'm going to be visiting all of China's most beautiful villages and towns. In next week's video, I'm off to Huangyao, also known as Dreamland Hometown. You're not going to want to miss that one. It was absolutely gorgeous. I'll put the link in the description below when it comes out. And I'll see y'all for the next great China adventure. What is going on here? Is there an animal in there?